dum dum, diddle dum dum, diddle dum dum, diddle dum dum. There was a turtle by the name of Bert, and Bert the turtle was very alert. When danger threatened him, he never got hurt. He knew just what to do. He's duck and cover, duck and cover. He did what we all must learn to do. You and you and you and you. Be sure and remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends, because every one of us must remember to do the same thing. That's what this film is all about. Duck and cover. This is an official civil defense film produced in cooperation. On October 30th of 2018, Niqua Valley High School, a blue ribbon high school located in the Chicago suburb of Naperville, Illinois, received an anonymous bomb threat that resulted in the evacuation of over 4,000 students and faculty members. The unfortunate trend of safety threats in schools has prompted a nationwide awareness of school safety. This is an NBC News special report. Good day, everyone. I'm Kristen Dahlgren in New York, and we are coming on the air at this hour with news of a school shooting in South Florida. New court documents reveal that 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz confessed to police that he was the gunman who shot up Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School here, killing 17 people. Two students were murdered, more than a dozen wounded, and today we know the names of those who were killed. 2019 has historically been the worst year for school-related gun violence, with 93 school shootings up 34 from the previous year, according to the U.S. Naval Postgraduate School. As this trend of school shootings gains traction, schools are strengthening security measures and protocols to increase school safety. To take a deeper look into what security protocols are in play at the start of every school day, we sat down with Officer Juan Leo of the Naperville Police Department to find out what steps can be taken to mitigate this damage. Uh, but we do is we have an intelligence unit. So if we get anybody who goes to school who might have had an incident outside of school, or we get information from a kid uh, or a parent, reference uh, anything that was said on social media, any type of violence towards the school, then that person would be not necessarily flagged, but uh, we would have to uh, do some intelligence on that person, maybe do a soft interview on that person, family, just to get some background on it. So that would be our version of, of vetting if we get some information based on a possible threat. Besides watching over the student body for potential threats to prevent any dangerous activity in an academic institution, Officer Leon also mentioned the integration of leaders into the classroom environment to foster a caring and self-checking community. Um, the student leaders should be able to communicate with uh, other students as far as getting information out. Again, it goes back to you see something, you got to say something. You know, we kind of put that in staff adults if you see something outside the building that's coming in let somebody know so our student leaders need to be aware of um, you know things surroundings you know have situational awareness around you inside the building if somebody says something as a joke for example we've had that if you hear it come say something again these leaders need to explain it to the students in general to get that word out where even if it's a joke if you hear something it sounds alarming you got to tell an adult even if it turns out to be nothing uh, and again, you could be anonymous. We have people who come forward, don't want to use their names. Um, and I think that's great. So again, we have deans here who do a great job. We investigate it and then we try to resolve it as best we can. Just like how the American government prepared students for a possible atomic bomb strike during the Cold War, we must also take precautionary measures regarding the unfortunate topic of school safety. Yes, we must all get ready now so we know how to save ourselves if the atomic bomb ever explodes near us. If you do not know just what to do, ask your teacher when this film is over. Discuss what you could do in different places if a bomb explodes. Older people will help us as they always do, but there might not be any grown-ups around when the bomb explodes. Then, you're on your own. Remember what to do, friends. Now tell me right out loud. What are you supposed to do when you see the flash? Duck! 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 